Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm here today with a very simple little project. I'm going to be using some of that yummy washi tape that I got from the washi tape shop. And I've just made a very simple tag and I've made a little dangle to decorate it with. I think that washi tape is so gorgeous I'm not really going to do much to it for my first little play with it. I've just basically stuck some to a piece of card and I've die cut this tag with a die and then I've made this little dangle to go on it and the dangle is just made from a charm, a bulb clip and I've actually put washi tape on a small popsicle or lollipop stick and it seems to stick really well which I'm very happy about then I've just decorated it with a teeny tiny butterfly that we're hanging about so let's crack on very easy this I'm liking the washi tape, it gives that effect as though you've decoupaged it, but it were a lot easier than decoupaging, yeah. Mm. So that's the one I used for the first one. Um, I've wrote these names down for you now. The name of that one is Blue and Cinnamon, yeah, so if you're looking for that on website, that's the Blue and Cinnamon one that I've used. I will put a link to the unboxing of the washi tapes, and all those details are in that description. Right, I've grabbed some offcuts of card. I have loads of these from my mini album and card making days. And I think I'm going to use a different washi tape this time. I want a different colour. So let's have a look, see what we've got. I really like this one because this one's got butterflies on it. Uh, we like that one. We like them all. We like them all. Just, yeah, we do. <laughs> so I don't have to keep saying we really like this one. And uh, let's grab that one. So, what's this one? Is this the autumn one? Yeah, this one is. Is it fall flowers? Oh, this is one with pumpkins. I was going to save that one. So, no, let's not use that one today. So, we're down to two. It's really hard to decide because they're so, so gorgeous. Mm, I do like that. I do like that. That might be better for smaller tags. So, that's going to leave me with this one. So I've got to, I've got to narrow it down somehow because the yummy. Yeah, I decided. Even though these washi tapes are like landscape, that was landscape, but parts of it you could turn around, and that's what I'm going to do with that part. So I want that part stuck on my piece of card to die cut. I've got the die I'm using here. Don't ask me where I got it from because I can't remember. None of my tag dies are in their original packaging. And I've had them years. So I think, yeah, that is the bit I want. Mm. So I'm just going to come in and snip this. So I know where I'm going to cut. I'll snip it there. And I will snip it there. I mean, you don't have to cover the whole of the tag if you don't want to. But I think I want to. So I'm going to cut across there. And then I'm going to cut across there. That's the bit I'm going to stick to my card. Oh, I didn't show you. I did just fussy cut a bit more of the washi tape to pop on back. Just so you got a little bit of something. Still plenty of room to write. But then we've got that. Right, which one is this that I'm using? I think this one is... It's, that's not Vintage Botanicals. No. Do, do, do. Floral Wave. Autumn Rose, this one. That one is Autumn Rose. Right. So... This this is the most challenging part of this for me. Getting the wash tape off the back. It, oh, wow, I've done it. <laughs> I'm not always very good at that. I'm going to stick it up there. I don't want to waste too much card. Now, if you don't have a die cut, just trim around. Make your tag shape. But because I've got my die cut machine out, I'm going to use it. And even though this washi tape sticks well, I'm still going to burnish it. Something in me says I must burnish washi tape. Whee. Got me wide tool that Shell got me for Christmas. Careful on edges, you don't want to peel it up. There you go. I'm going to use my little baby Gemini mini die cut machine. Grab myself a folder. that in. I'm just gonna, well I've already got a bit of tape on the die, I'm just gonna, you probably can't see there can you if it's shadow, I'm just gonna secure that 
Which do I want? I think that looks like the natural top for me. Yeah. So I'm just going to secure that with a little bit of the low tack tape. Pop it in my folder. You use whatever die cut machine you've got. And let's run it through. Oh, we've got a bit of a squeak on. It's time to get WD-40 out, me thinks. Let's put you down there out of way now, mate. We won't be using you again for a bit. And let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Lemon squeezy. I've, I've got that wrong onto that. It's not nice and easy lemon squeezy. Whatever it is, it was still nice and easy. Yeah, I like this uh, tag die. It's got little stitching around edges. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on. Now, I've heard people say that the ink won't stay on, washi tape and stuff, but I hope it seems to stay on for me. So, I'm going to put it on. Whee. I just like that ink to look. If you don't, don't like the ink look, don't ink it. I think if I were using something a little bit brighter, I probably wouldn't ink. Ink on the back. I'll have a look for a section of washi tape I want to fussy cut to put on the back as well. Which one did we use? Which one did we use? It was this one. And we've got this bit I cut off. I'm not going to waste that. Hmm, what we've got here? I could just put that leaf on back, yeah, I'm going to do it. So, I'm not, oh, don't use them scissors. Use your nice fussy cutting scissors. I'm just going to randomly fussy cut it. Because the edge of the tape disappears into the cream cardstock, I'm not going to spend three days fussy cutting. Cause I can be extra fussy when I fussy cut. That's why you very rarely see me do it on camera, because I just take too long. I probably didn't even need to go around that bit. Just turn your paper or whatever you're fussy cutting rather than your scissors. I don't want to cut into that rose next to it because that can be fussy cut for another project. I'm not wasting any of this. It's too yummy. Right. What have I got on my thumb? <laughs> yeah, I've got a bit of low-tack tape. Yeah, we're using that as well to keep me... Wash your tapes together. I've had a couple of people suggest that I could use little elastic bands. I have ordered some from Amazon. I never thought of that. That's probably easier. Right. Yeah, I must say I'm really loving how easy it is to get this off the back in. I'm just going to pop that there. Just a little something then, isn't it, on the back? And we'll burnish it down. Yeah, when you burnish it, the backing really does disappear. Whee. So that's the easy peasy bit, isn't it? We've made a tag. Let's stick an eyelet in it. Everything's to hand. Oh, I've just small craft lunch. Don't panic about a big one. <laughs> I'm going to grab... Oh, yeah, I'm still going to go for the bronze ones. I like them. They're my favourite colour. Because that tag, the hole in the tag is a little bit small, I'm just going to go, there we go. And I've got the eyelets that are slightly bigger. That fits in nice. Let's just set that. Go on. Go on. There you go. On. There we go. So that's my eyelet done. I may go for the same colours of uh, seam binding. I could get a nice peachy pink one out for that, couldn't I? Let's pick a peachy pink one. Whee. Could be doing an ASMR video with all this crinkling. Crinkle, crinkle. These are, of course, the yummy seam bindings from the scrap cabin shop. That looks perfect. I'll tell you what colour it is. That is Cameo. Oh, Cameo. It's like, yeah, it's like a peachy, pinky. Yeah, it's a peachy pink, yeah. <laughs> I'd already said I wanted a peachy pink and a fang one. 
Where's end? <laughs> I don't want to take the whole thing out of the wrapping when I'm only taking a little piece off. There we go. And I just want enough to pop in top at tag. There we go. And I think I'm going to put that with that colour this time. I could find a green, but I'm going to use what I've got. And this colour is burnt orange because it goes nicely with everything. I'm going to have to take that out because I can't find end. Where's end? It's <laughs> oh dear. I think I'll film a video on tangling wires next. Yeah, it's on the same level, isn't it? All that time looking for end. Just cut a little bit off. And I've got one a bit longer than other. There we go. And then I'm just going to thread it through and tie it with a little bit of wax linen thread again. There we go. Cut off more than you need, woman. Cut off more than you need. Don't make your life difficult. Because I'm good at doing that. I've got washi stepped. <laughs> oh dear. Wee. Oh my god. I think we've already had a few. I can't stop saying it. I say it all the time. Wee. And. I'll make that into a little bow. Oh, I'll double knot it, make sure it's not going to come off. So then even if the bow comes undone, the whole thing's not going to fall apart. And the little bow. Pull my tails. And I'll just snip them. There we go. So that's the tag done. How easy and quick was that? And it matches, but it's different. Right, pop your seam binding to one side. I told you the colours, didn't I? Yeah. Right, the next thing we're going to make the little charm. I'm going to make it a little different. I've got this here. This is, which set was this? I think this was Vintage Botanicals sticker set. And we've got a rose on it. I'm hoping that rose is going to fit nicely on one of these lollipop sticks. Let me grab them. I did do a video back when I first started on making charms with these lollipop sticks. In fact, I've got one hanging on my desk here now and I faffed about. Well, it weren't a faff, I did it. I stuck some fabric on and a little word. I just quite like them. All right, so I'm hoping this rose is going to fit. Mm, it's going to look a bit... I don't know. We'll still see the rose. Try it, woman. Try it. Peel your rose off. Stick it on. See what occurs. Apply the worker it won't. I don't want to put it too high up because I'm going to punch a hole through that top. And I don't want to go and punch in a hole straight through top at rose. Mm, yeah, I can live with that. We can see most of the rose. You get the idea. I quite like that. The, the other bits they've just folded round back. I'm going to come in again and burnish it down. Even on the side. And then on back. And then that bit, I'm just going to cut that off. That doesn't need to wrap round back. It'll perhaps look a bit strange if I did. So I'll just trim that. So it's level with bottom. How oh, easy with that? That was much easier messing about with glue. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to use the small side on my crocodile, which is that side. I'm just going to... I've got the distance set. In fact, I'll have it a little bit further in. I've got those very near edge. So I'm lining... Oh, I can't line it up. That I've got wood in the middle. It'll pop out, it'll pop out. So I'm just checking if you can see that I've got same distance either side. I know this is set. I'll tell you what it's set at. And chomp. It's set at, ooh, an eighth of an inch. Yeah, so that ends up an eighth of an inch from the end. And I'm going to come in and do the same on bottom. There we go. 
and that's that. I'm just going to give this a little bit of an ink. Oh, sounds like my kids are home from school. They'll probably get an idea that I'm doing a video. And then I want a bulb clip. I'm using the bronze ones because that's what I want to use. And I think I want a flower charm for this. Oh no, I'm going to use a bee. A bee. I happen to have got a bronze bee. Bees and flowers, yeah. I've got my little jump rings here. I'm not sure what size I used, but I'll try and measure it and tell you. These are just assorted sizes, but I don't know what sizes they are. I used that one. It looks about an eight millimeter. Turn it, turn it. These are supposed to be easy. <laughs> Can make anything look difficult, me. There we go. Is it eight mil? I don't know. I don't even think I could measure that. Let me try it on my desk. No, that's more like five or six millimeter. Sorry, I don't know what that is in inches. That's the one thing I buy in millimeters. And yeah, I don't even know how to convert such a small, tiny thing to inches. Right, I've got my pliers and my ring. I'm gonna grab my jump ring, open it up. I mean, you can put those on your finger to do them. I prefer to hold it. Then I'll put my little bee on, the bottom of my charm, and I'm just going to nip that back up. I just like to check that it's not rough. And then pop a bulb clip on the top, and then we attach it to our tag, and jobs are good. Then. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, just pop it through that bit there. I mean, if you wanted, you could pop it through the hole. Just put it through one layer at Seam Binding Woman and it'll make it a bit easier for you. I'm sorry if I gave people uh, shivers then. <laughs> Waiting for me to stab myself with that pin. And oh, I like that. So we've got the little rose, the little bee who's about to pollinate the roses, dangling from the bottom. And yeah, I'm quite happy with them. How quick is that? I think we're 17 minutes into the video and I've made a charm and a tag. You really could mass make these. You really could. So that's that one. Should we make another? Because things have to be in sets of three, don't they? Yeah. Let's make another. Or oh, this is going to be a very short video. So I've used that one. I've used that one. I'm going to have to use this one with bees and stuff. Right. This time, I don't know whether any part of this washi tape would look good sideways. That bit would probably, I suppose. Hmm. That bit and that bit probably would. Let me grab my tag if I'm going to use my die cut again for it. Where did I put it? Can anyone see it on my desk? Because I can't find it. I've lost it. I thought I'd done with that. I didn't think I was going to be using that again. Two ticks, I'll find it. I found it. Can I, How can anyone lose so many things when they don't move? I'd put my charms on top of it. So I've got my tag again. My tag die, should I say. Grab another piece of card. I've got a piece that got some like coffee staining on. Do you know what? I don't want to use that. I want to use a plain piece. Yeah, it's my prerogative. Change my mind. I'm a woman. Right. Which bit did I decide I was going to use? Because I've just decided that bit might look good. So I'm just going to get my tag and frame. I would get part of one butterfly on one tag. Get a piece or another bit there. Hmm. I can't decide. It's it's a big decision, this. Big decision. Because I'm also thinking I don't want to waste any of this at all. So let's turn it sideways. It's like when you get those yummy scrapbook papers and you want to use every scrap. Let's see what, which way? I don't even know what way around that butterfly is. It's a bit uh, strange. Yeah, it's going to be this bit, this bit. I mean, some of the butterflies are facing all directions anyway. Yeah, I'm going to use that bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to come in and snip. Bottom and top. And then I'll cut it. I mean, you can even use scraps of this to cover your lollipop sticks. 
I'm coming around to way of thinking that washi tape is a really good way of decorating without adding too much weight or bulk. Mm. Right. Yeah, that's going to look good. Most butterflies are right way up. The flowers, yeah, I think they've been designed in a way to work in multiple directions, aren't they? That's quite clever, that. You know, I was saying how I'm finding it so easy to get backing off. I said that once in my last video and then I couldn't get backing off just after saying it. I'm going to have to learn not to say that. Just don't say it, woman. Right. That's that. Get burnishing. Whee. Right, and I've totally forgot which way up I wanted this. That way it was, yeah, because then that way I've got two butterflies facing the right way up and one is dive bombing. Dive bombing ground. I might miss a bit of him off. Yeah, we'll miss a bit of him off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could do it slightly sideways, sideways to get him on. We could. We'll just cater corner that a little bit to get more butterfly in. Yeah, it's. I'm still going to cut on the washi tape. Right, grab your die cut machine that you flung on the floor out of the way. There we go. Yeah, I got this little one because it fits on my desk, but yeah. I have that much stuff on my desk, even a little one. I haven't got room. Oh, that just moved slightly, so I'm just going to move it back and press that down again. There we go. Wee. Quite a thick card that. Let's have a look. Oh, quite. Oh, that's lovely. We've got both butterflies on. Well, all three. There's three. Yeah. Uh, can you count? I don't know. Three butterflies. <laughs> uh, right. I'm going to do the same on this one. Just going to go round with a little bit of ink. This one is much brighter, isn't it? We may have to crack out some brighter seam binding for this one. I'm thinking a nice purple and a green maybe, or a purple and yellow. I do like purple and yellow together. We've got a bit of purple on there, haven't we? And then we've got the yellow flower. Yeah, that'll be yumly. That's word at week, that yumly. And I'll try not to stab myself with bulb clip this time. Ooh, speaking of stabbing myself, I've got myself. I bought myself a little present. It's cute. I'll just show it you. It's a new pin cushion. It, it's a rock troll. It's, look, it's a troll, and I can stick pins in it. Love it. So he hangs on the side now. Right. So that's done. We want an eyelet in it. Oh, I can smell one of kids cooking toast. They come home from school starving. They're starving. They can't wait while I'm making any tea. Mm. I'm not making tea tonight. Anyway, I'm having a takeaway. Because something I didn't tell anyone. It's my birthday. I am officially older today. Old, I suppose every day you're older than you were the day before. But all of a sudden, I'm a whole year older. Yeah. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> Spent all day crafting, playing with yummy stuff. The perfect day. I'm I'm past the age where I want to go out partying and gallivanting. I did a lot of that when I was younger. <laughs> I'm all gallivanted out. So oh that's that I like. I really like. Let's pick some seam binding for this. I've got the pack with plenty of purple and green oh can i can i go for that one that really bright one or am i better with a pinky one i don't know i can do what i want it's my tag you asmr people love this crinkling people who don't like that probably won't so yeah i like that yellow i think i may have to go for pink instead of purple i think the purple will just be a bit too, a bit far out there. No, I ain't got a pink in that pack. So do you know what? 
let's get the purples out and we'll see which one goes better. I really need to organise those seam bindings into some kind of colour order to make it easier to pick. Right, I, I like that, it goes lovely with that flower. And we'll see which one of these it goes well with. That one is called Daisy. Let's find the end. I think I've spent more time finding end on this video than doing out else. <laughs> Come on. You've got to be there somewhere. Is there a trick to this? Here we go. Found it. So I definitely know I'm using yellow. So I'll cut a bit of that one off. That's that. I really do think that purple might look good. But then that looks good as well. I'm going to go for dark purple. I'm really bad at making decisions. About that much. I'll use less of the purple than of the yellow. Yeah. And that one is called purple. <laughs> shocker. Shocker. That purple one's called purple. What's that one called for anyone? That's fuchsia. They're all just so gorgeous. Again, I'll put the link to uh, Erin's shop, which is the scrap cabin shop, in the description for you. And I'm going to do this so that I see more yellow than purple. I just want like a hint of the purple. I want the main colour, that's it, on top to be the yellow. There we go. And I'm going to tie it exactly the same as I did last one with a bit of this wax linen thread. Whee. So I think you can, you'll can you agree that you really don't have to do much to this washi tape at all to get a yummy project. I'm going to try my hand at doing some collaging. I'm not into doing bullet journaling and that kind of journaling and all that, but I do love that style and I follow a lot of people on Instagram. So I'm going to give that a whirl on some journal cards. And I may do odd page in journals. Collaging, sort around border to then leave room for whoever gets the journal to do some collaging. Ooh, my palm itches. Left to leave, right to receive. Ooh. That is an old wives tale. I don't know if it's true. If it were, I'd be rich. <laughs> I'm not. Right, so I want to... I think I may use a scrap of that same one rather than uh, one of the others. So we've got this. Yeah, I think I want to use... Maybe I want a butterfly to end up on the lollipop stick. Let's grab a lollipop stick. Whee. If you really wanted to be a perfectionist about, about framing this, you could draw around the lollipop stick on a bit of card, cut it out and then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. It, actually, if you can't visualise it, that is quite a good way to go. In fact, let's do it. I'm not going to spend a long time doing it. Just draw around your stick. I've I used to do this when I'm making tags, and especially if I'm wanting to get the most out of a sheet of card. This is the dodgiest bit for me getting through there. I didn't, I didn't stab myself. So yeah, I'm just going to cut around that quickly. Oh, another thing I do if I'm wanting to grab a piece of a scrapbook paper is I'll cut a piece of acetate out in the size that the tag needs to be so now this is what I'm going to do I've got my paper if you see what I mean I can now do this kind of thing to decide what exactly is then going to show now, I'm not going to get that oh that looks good we could do that that'd be wasting a lot of washi tape so I don't think I'm going to do that I'm just going to take this end piece off, to be honest. Yeah. And just wrap it around. I think that's quite sufficient. So after all that, I've then just picked a random piece. 
what did I say earlier? I'm a woman and it's my prerogative to change my mind if I want to. I'll just cut that down a bit. We don't need it that tall. I think I want the flower on. The big red flower. So I'm going to cut it down there. I'll cut a little bit of that off. <laughs> so I'm going to stick it on and wrap it around. Let's get that back in off. You can always trim the back down a little bit if it doesn't stick on. Another thing I was going to try with this, do you remember, I mean, I know people still do them, but they were a big craze a while back, weren't they? You know, using the wooden scrabble tiles to make pictures with names. I've got one downstairs. It says uh, Julie, Rachel and Rebecca. And you know how certain letters intersect. So it looks like a little crossword. Well, I used to make those and I've got so many of those tiles. I was thinking of doing that with these tiles and then punching a hole in, but the tiles are slightly too wide. Right, that's wrinkled a little bit, so I'm going to trim it off. I'm just going to stick the back down flat, that's it. I'm going to grab my burnisher tool. Oh, I like that. And then for the sides, I just did that. That's how I did it. After I'd wrapped it round. And then I burnished again. I mean, if you cut it a little bit shorter so you don't go right up onto the curve bit, you won't have this issue. But I'm still finding this is sticking down pretty nice. If you look, that first one I did with the text washi tape. Yeah. That stayed stuck down. There we go. Then I'm going to come in again and ink the edges a little bit. Because I like that look. It's not essential, this one. What does Timmy say? You do you. I mean, even the back looks pretty nice, doesn't it? You can't see the join in the tape. Then I'm going to come in and punch my holes again. I'm going to have to poke that out, the wood, on this this time. Oh God, is that? That way it wasn't open properly. Sometimes I, there's a little locking mechanism on these and sometimes as I'm using it, I start locking it up. There we go. It doesn't matter that I can't see through it all because I'm lining it up. In a different way. I'm just making sure the edges are pretty even. Yeah, we we'll like that. And let's grab another bulb clip. I did get one out ready. Eee. Let's shift some rubbish out of it where I'm really good at just keeping rubbish all over my workspace, aren't I? I have posted on my community page to prove that I do have a clean workspace sometimes, but it usually lasts about five minutes. Right, what do we want on there? Do we want a butterfly, a bee or a flower? I think I'm gonna go for a flower. So I'll just grab a flower charm. Flowers, there we go. Because we've done one with a butterfly, haven't we? Here's my flower charms. I think I might just go for this little small one. So we don't want something too long and dangly. I don't want it dangling off the bottom of my... Yeah, I think that would look good. I don't have a tiny rose. Mm, do I? Would that be too long? Mm, no, I don't want to use that one. don't have many of them left. I need to get some more. Yeah, I'm going to go with my first one that I chose. Pop them there. Let's grab another little jump ring. Ooh, I can hear people outside. Don't know what they're up to. I already had that open at right place and I've just spun it all the way around for absolutely no reason. Ring. Pliers. So, put my jump ring in there and hold it. It makes this kind of stuff so much easier since I discovered these little rings. Make sure you're holding jump ring properly though, woman. There we go. Right, put that on. So 
that's going to be my front. So go front to front with my charm. Yeah. If you've got one of those charms like my bee was that doesn't have a front and a back, you don't have to think about that. There we go, that's the narrow one. I am at the end of this month treating myself to one of those magnifying lights for doing my jewellery. But as I get older, it is harder to see. Right, that's that one, I like it. If you want it dangling down even more, put three jump rings on or put a piece of chain on. Or you could even do it with a bit of string. This wax linen thread would work. Whee. Right. When I uh, upload, edit this video, I will put the names of the washi tapes that I've used, just in case I got it wrong or forgot to mention it. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm a semi-organised person. I cannot be fully organised. My memory doesn't work that way. Right, so, oh, they're just cute. So easy. Anyone can make these. Yeah, I really like them. I think I might have to make more of those. I think we need that purple one in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm stuck, not sure if I went with right colour with purple. I'm thinking blue might have been better. I don't know. Blue probably would have tied it all together. So if you see that I've changed that <laughs> in the thumbnail, you'll know I decided blue were a better colour. Yeah. Right. So that's it for today. Very simple idea with that washi tape. But I hope you agree. It's pretty yummy. So thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.